Greetings, everyone. Welcome to ENE Learning Hub, where I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for questions related to the difference between AC and DC. So question six is from the 2005 past paper question. And so these questions are also linked to question two from the 2019 past paper. All right, so let's begin. It says, figure seven shows the magnitude and direction of the induced electromotive force in a single conductor rotating through 360 degrees between the poles of a magnet. Or it's A, it says, define each of the following terms used to describe characteristics of the induced EMF. So the first term, alternating cycle. So this is the complete cycle of change in direction of the current or voltage over time. Part two, frequency. Frequency refers to the number of complete cycle of an alternating current or voltage that occur in one second. Part three, average volume. The average volume of an alternating current or voltage is the mean volume of the waveform over one complete cycle. Part four, RMS volume. The RMS or root mean square volume of an alternating current or voltage is the equivalent volume of a DC current or voltage that would produce the same amount of power as the AC waveform. Peak voltage. The peak voltage of an alternating current or voltage is the maximum positive or negative volume of a waveform. All right, so that's it for this question. Let's move on to the other one, which is question four from the 2003 past paper. Part C, it says figure one shows an AC waveform. So here's the AC waveform. It says copy this sketch in your answer booklet and indicate the following on the sketch. Part one, cycle. Part two, peak amplitude. Part three, armist volume. Part four, peak to peak volume and part five, positive and negative polarity of the vertical axis. All right, so first up, here is the positive polarity and the negative polarity of the vertical axis. Peak to peak is the maximum point in the positive half cycle. So the maximum point on the negative half cycle, which is from this point to this point here. So that's peak to peak. The armist value falls just a little below the maximum point on the waveform, just about right here. And the peak amplitude is basically the maximum point on the waveform, whether in the negative half cycle or positive half cycle. And a cycle is a complete waveform. So from zero to maximum in the positive half cycle, back to zero, to maximum in the negative half cycle, and back to zero. All right, so that's it for this question.